Shai Booyam works his way into the offensive end. Stopped and restarted. Up top here's Boston Buckberger. Through a crowd. Sends that wide to the near side post. And recollected over toward the corner by Miko Matica. Matica was given a game misconduct last night. The shot is stopped. Rebound is loose in front. It's still loose and that tapped in. Tristan Bros got to it. And from a shallow angle, he scores. And Denver has got the Knights' first goal. Tristan Bros, the junior out of Bloomington, Minnesota, is able to stick with it long enough and get a stick on it and from a bad angle, just tap it in behind Bruveris. Shot came in, Bruveris made the original, the initial save, wasn't really able charging call and to keep his elbows down and just use his shoulder, that's just a good hard hockey body check and no call. Puck loose in the crease, Denver trying to get to it, and somehow Braveris is able to get on top of it. No, it slid across the goal line, and Denver's got a 2 nothing lead. I thought Braveris had gotten the body down on top of it, and then the signal comes, and that was in, and the Pioneers out in front by two. Andrew Wilk is the official right behind the net. And he's looking for that puck. Weiermeyer came in, he gives a whack at it. There you can see it loose. And all of a sudden, this will be a great angle from above. It had slid in right behind the goal. So this is gonna be interesting now because Denver for a moment was looking a little bit out of sorts and now the Pioneers flying and they've got numbers. A whole lot of bodies on the ice. Tristan Bros down low. Comes to a stop. Off the boards to Thompson. Over across. Zeev Booyam will walk it back to the near side. Down low, threaded through the cree or through the slot, I should say. And up top, and that's trickling toward the empty net, and it's a goal. The weirdest goal that you will ever see bounces into the empty net, vacated on the delayed penalty with a minute 16 to go. So the Miami player deflects this pass but never possesses it. Right there you can see it in the front. That was Robbie Drasner who ends up deflecting it but never possesses it. Because of that, on the delayed penalty, there's no whistle. It caroms past the Pioneer players, and it caroms. 35 seconds now remaining, and the Pioneers pick it up in the neutral zone. Here comes Jack Devine working his way in. Devine losing the handle on it in the corner, able to get it to Tristan Bros. Nice feed shot, Barron's shot is blocked before it got through, and it's cleared out by the Red Hawks. Final 15 seconds of the power play chance coming. Great feed there to Jack Devine from Matt Davis. Bros back to Devine, the backhander, he scores! And it's a 3-1 Denver lead! Denver able to move the puck up quickly to Devine, and Devine goes bro to Bros and then back to Devine, and this is where veteran leader as it will go against Rihard Simonovics, the freshman from Riga, Latvia, a member of their World Juniors team in both 2022 and 2023. And we'll play four on four for the next minute 15, then it'll be a 45 second Pioneers power play. Denver with a face-off win. Steve Booyam works it across the blue line. He'll get around P.J. Fletcher. Booyam in all alone. Booyam drags and scores! Denver off that faceoff. They wanted encroachment on Miami. They, Miami center was warned, and then he encroached again. There was no call. Play continued. The puck. A lot of stops 
in this game. Denver's already at 23 shots on goal. Here comes Jack Devine with a short side shot. And Rivera makes a stop there as well. Meyer out of the box. 45 second power play for the Pioneers if Denver can gain control. As Spencer Cox will shuttle this one down in and Matt Davis goes back to put a stop to it. Here come the Pios. Flying ahead with a Boston Buckberger. Drops it off for Jared Wright who will survey the scene and send it back to Jack Devine. Devine looking in front. Wiggles his way around the back of the goal. Across the blue line to Bros once more. Final 10 seconds on the power play. Off the boards, now played up top. Sent near side. Into the slot, a shot there, and it's wide of the mark. Rebound is tapped in, and Denver, with three seconds remaining with the extra man, has a 5-1 lead in the second. Initial shot goes wide, and then Jared Wright is in the right spot at the right time as Bros is able to kick that puck off of his backhand back in front between his legs. And Pioneers with another faceoff win. Here's Boston Buckberger off the pass from Tristan Bros. Along the blue line, kept it in there, then lost his footing, and now a chance as that's fed ahead for Dukovac, but he's going to have to chase it down and slow it down, feeding it into the slot. Barbellini, a little off-angle pass his direction. Now Denver will slow it down in the neutral zone. Throws to Buckberger. Matolin's lost his footing. Drop back. Rose sends it across. One timer. They score. Six to one. Denver in the third. I don't know that it matters who's in net on this play. What a one-timer by Rieger Lorenz. Buckberger drops it, quick pass across, and Rieger Lorenz wasting no time. Hits that one-timer on Lorenz, his ninth goal on the season. Denver leads it six to one. Pioneers on cruise control now, a five goal lead for Denver in this one. Pioneers have not won a game by more than four since January 6th against Niagara. That was a five goal win, six to one. And now another chance here. That one's sent high by Sam Harris. Great job by Harris to kick that puck, get it onto his stick. Now another chance for Harris as he walks in, shoots and scores! And the floodgates are open and now it's a 7-1 Denver lead. Denver able to move the puck around in the offensive zone. Sam Harris gets it on the near side, and he had a... In the back, right behind Boston College and Boston University, respectfully, in second and first. Pioneers are third in the national polls. So it's all shaping up for another big March and April for DU. Kieran Sebrian works his way in. Sebrian shot is stopped there by McPhail. Carter McPhail, even though this game is not going to go into the win column for Miami. McPhail's got to be really happy with what he's been able to do as he makes another save, but unable to keep it out in the last second as Miko Matica pounds it in, and Denver's got an exclamation point and an 8 1 lead. McPhail did everything he possibly could. He had it underneath him, but when he goes to try to tuck that puck underneath him with his blocker right here, he kind of shoots it all the way underneath him, and it ends up popping out the other side.